Okay, let's talk about naphtha for a minute. First off, let's say good, e good evening, everybody. DJ Styles with Custom Corpses. Now, the subject here is naphtha. In a lot of states, naphtha is illegal. Uh, this is a highly flammable and definitely it is dangerous, very dangerous to your skin. And uh, if you're using this stuff, please use gloves. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. <laughs> Uh, but I would recommend using gloves anytime you, you touch this stuff. Uh, I choose mainly to use brushes. This way I'm not touching this uh, directly. That's why when I just did that last video, I brushed it on. Because I do not like to get my hands wet with this stuff uh, without gloves on. Uh, using a rag. Because the rag does uh, have, it gets wet and your skin touches it, and this stuff is extremely dangerous. To, you can get all kinds of messed up things wrong with you. <laughs> Cancer, all kinds of stuff. This stuff is really, 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 really dangerous. So with that being said, I just wanted to uh, give you a heads up because I didn't really emphasize how dangerous uh, naphtha is. Uh, you know, very toxic, very, it's got a very strong odor. Um, very flammable. Oh my God. Well, this is the stuff they use in lighter fluid. So that gives you any idea. Uh, you definitely don't want this on uh, near any open flame, not even a spark. You want to definitely be out of static electricity away from this. It's just so many dangerous things about this product. But at the same time, there is nothing better to use on uh, a wax-based clay like monster clay. Uh, this stuff really softens that outer edge so you can texture your skin. You see how I textured that? I got it zoomed in. You know, that's my Night Creeper 1978. That I still have to uh, mold, or yeah, I'm gonna make the mold. I'm just waiting for the weather to break, and uh, now they're calling for snow in the next couple of days here. So, but this is about naphtha and how flammable and dangerous it is to your skin. I always clip that shut when you're done. Two things: it evaporates very fast. I mean, really quick. <laughs> you can, I could leave that open and I could lose like an inch just through evaporation with the lid being open in one night. Uh, so, you know, and it's just not safe to leave something like that uh, va vaporizing in your air, in your house. So definitely make sure you always close your lids. That's an empty can. <laughs> just don't panic. That's, I know that's open back there. But that's an empty can. That's done. That's been open. And as a matter of fact, I did that on purpose because there's absolutely zero fluid in there. But I want to make sure there's flame, uh, fumes escape the can that's been open for probably like three or four days. And that's what I do before I even dispose of that type of thing. I have to actually take that to a... Um, I take that to... Um, it has to go where all the paint... And, stuff at the dump the transfer station when you take it to the transfer station there's a special area that you know toxins toxic stuff like this has to go so but i try to make sure that my cans are vapor free i don't take anything with any fluid in it um, just to be on the safe side i do take a lot of precautions with everything so and what, let's talk about the texturing now the texturing you know, that I didn't cover. As you got different grades of texture. Like the one I used right here was this was this texture here. It's a very, very fine sponge. And it's soft. So in order to even get a texture on your hard sculpture, is you do have to soften that clay. You either have to soften it with heat or you have to soften it with like I used naphtha. And here's another grade. It's just a step above that. It's a little bit more coarse. And of course, you've got all these other grades that really, you know, they're they're uh, pretty uh, pretty rough. And then you have this 
cool thing called it's like a skinner it's like skin see that isn't that cool you can actually put that on top of one of these whatever grade you're using you want to put this on top of like one of your uh like right here i could put it on this one or i can put it on the the the, the other and i can push that into the into the clay when it's soft and i can get that texture on there and get give you a little bit of a what that would look like let me see that's the kind of texture you might want to use on a freddy krueger uh, mask so uh, pretty cool anyway uh that's texturing they've got special texturing sponges you can you can use just about anything um when it comes to texturing the trick is to uh soften your clay before you use texturing techniques and then, you know, that that doesn't tackle wrinkling. Wrinkling is a whole different thing. I don't have wrinkles in a Michael Myers mask, uh, at least not yet, not until I do the 2018. And then I'll show you how I do my wrinkles by using a piece of plastic. You put it over top, then you take your tools and you rub it in for your wrinkles. With uh, like, you know, you want to take your tool. Let's see, it's this tool here. Well, you don't want to put this tool directly on your clay because it'll it'll it takes it takes away clay too. So, what you want to do is put a piece of uh, plastic, even cellophane, over top of your sculpture, and then you use your tool. Then you don't lose the clay; you just leave the dentation in there. And I mean, this this isn't exactly what I would use for uh, wrinkles, but. Wrinkling tools, man, it can be it can be anything. I can I can use any tool. I'm not trying to take any clay away when I do wrinkles. I actually what I do is uh, uh, I press in um, unless unless like the wrinkles are really deep, then you have to take away um, you have to take away some clay. But most of your wrinkles and your skin textures are just pressing into the uh into the into the sculpture you're not really taking clay away but anyway this was basically supposed to be for naphtha and i'm going to stick with the, the naphtha theme be safe with this believe me it's a very dangerous uh very dangerous fluid to work with and whenever you handle this stuff especially you know if it gets on your skin have gloves wear gloves you know, any kind of gloves. Make sure they're not, no, not in any, any kind of gloves. You know, you don't want anything that'll um, melt. Uh, I use, you know, with naphtha, where's my gloves at? I buried them back here, but I have my gloves. All right, what do they do with those gloves? Hold on. I just got them at Home Depot. Here they are. Little box of gloves. They're vinyl gloves. That's what I use. I got them at Home Depot. They're latex free. They're vinyl. And uh, some people are sensitive to latex. So these are these are latex free. They don't melt with the naphtha, which is really good. And uh, I wear those whenever I'm handling this with a rag. Like see that rag there? That's what I usually use to really smooth out the entire uh, head of all the wrinkles from the sculpting, sculpting tools. And then <clears throat> what I do is uh, I, I do it again once it hardens back up because that's one thing about the naphtha. Uh, make sure when you do your naphtha and um, you texture Make sure it sits for a couple hours before you go and re uh, uh, reapply the naphtha because your sculpture gets pretty soft. You have to make sure that you don't uh, overdo it with the naphtha because you don't want to change the shape of your, your sculpture. You're only trying to texture. So with that being said, and I, on my last video, I was talking about epoxy sculpt, but I forgot I had zoomed into the picture. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to talk about epoxy sculpt, this stuff right here. So, 
and there's a part A and a part B, and this is actually, it's a po it's an epoxy. It's like a hard plastic when you mix the two together. And, but you can use this. Oh, you can sculpt so many different things with this stuff. It's amazing, amazing. And it sticks to everything, including your skin if you're not careful. So, but I can't, I cannot work with this stuff without, I can't wear gloves. You just cannot get the right, I just, you gotta be able to touch. You gotta be able to touch with this. And what I do is I keep water at hand at all times. I always keep my hand fingers wet whenever I'm sculpting with this stuff. And the water actually smooths it out to make it very smooth. So I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. Maybe I'll do a little something um, with this tomorrow. But um, yes, that's epoxy sculpt. So I'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow. You guys have a great night and a great weekend. Be safe. Uh, they're talking about snow in this area. Uh, I hope not. We've been lucky here in South Jersey. We haven't had any snow. We basically have had nothing but rain all year. But it looks like <laughs> it's going to wait till spring before we get our first storm. How bizarre is that? Anyway, uh, you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Peace.